Hey guys, it's Friday. It's a boring Friday, but we, you know, we're watching the World Cup. That was kind of interesting. I'm actually downtown at the National Press Club where there is a federal government office, the State Department's Foreign Media Center. I'm picking up credentials for the African Summit. Not for me, for a friend of mine who can't make it today, he reached out to me and said, hey, can you go pick this up? So I said, yeah, I'm downtown anyway. We'll grab this and then we'll go explore entrance over there to the National Press Building. And of course, right next to the entrance is a liquor store, Press Liquors, because if you got a bunch of journalists, you need a liquor store. Now you guys have seen me eat Jimmy John's a couple times, and I actually like it a lot. You know why? Because Jimmy John's started in my hometown. The actual guy, John Leotardo, the guy who created Jimmy John's, used to make subs for me. So, once again, my hunger uh, overpowered my ability to film, and I inhaled the sandwich before I could film it. <laughs> we'll rectify that by having a second lunch, okay, guys? That'll be a little bit later. Let's uh, let's go for a walk down the White House, and then just walk around the neighborhood see what else is up right now where am i on g street there's a there's a church over there sort of stuck in the middle of all these offices no idea who's in these offices probably mostly lawyers <laughs> i know one of these buildings um is called like the printers and what is, when a company wants to go public, they have to file all this paperwork with the uh, SEC. And the printers are where the lawyers go uh, up until the last second. And I mean, they literally sometimes sleep in this building, writing up the last bits of the document before it gets submitted to the SEC. And this has to be done by like nine o'clock, the day that the company's going public. So. It's a pretty insane place, the printers. It's either in this block or the next block. I'm not sure if it's still here. Just know some friends who are lawyers used to, well, they used to have to sleep there occasionally. Let's head down. We're gonna cut across the White House, make our way over and into the West End. Maybe try to find some food. Some food over by a foggy bottom. A second lunch. Now over there is the Treasury Building and it's well you can't really see it. it's just off to the left but a lot of these buildings around the treasury are banks back at the turn of the century all the banks wanted to be close to treasury so like every building to my right down that entire block is or as was at one time a bank uh, now they've kind of switched up in their offices i mean they still have banks this is a truest bank at the lower level but uh <laughs> kind of an interesting way Washington developed. Quite a few tourists out today. I don't know if they're having Christmas tours. Last night they had a party for the media, the first of two Christmas parties held at the White House. I think last night was for press, I mean a print journalist, and then I think TV and radio will be next week sometime. Biden is not really doing much today. His schedule is empty. <clears throat> we just got alert that he's going to have a uh, TV interview. He's going to sit for a TV interview that'll appear in about two weeks. It's going to be hosted by Drew Barrymore. So Drew Barrymore is in the house somewhere around here uh, conducting that interview. I think it's going to be on December 19th is when you'll be able to see it. Pretty quiet day. There's only like one tree over there with leaves. <laughs> They're all getting barren. Now, I don't know his schedule for the weekend yet. The Army-Navy game is in Philadelphia tomorrow. Uh, there's a chance. A chance he might go up to Philadelphia to see the game. Uh, but he might just stay in town because there's this big African summit. That's why I had to go get those press credentials. The African summit is going to have the leaders of all these African countries uh, come to D.C. for a big summit. So he might stick around for that. We'll see. All I know is there's no helicopter today. Truth Conductor is playing Christmas music, I guess. There's the White House. 
quite a few tourists out here. He just loves to play his music, doesn't he? Just loves to play his music and mess up all my uh, YouTube algorithms. Oh, there's an SUV coming out. Let's see. We don't see a Marine right now. So I guess he's not in the Oval Office. Unless the Marine's behind the tree. Nope, he's not there. So over there is Pebble Beach, and you can see some guys coming in and out of the press galleries. There's more press going in and out there to the West Wing. That's where all the activity is. That's the North Portico, and it's pretty quiet up there. Nobody really goes in there except kind of for formal events and whatnot. Most of the action is over here in the West Wing. I have people taking their pictures now. Oh, dog team coming down the road. Let's, uh, you know what, let me call my buddy at the World Bank because he wanted me to drop something off for him. I'm going to go see if he's around. But if he is, uh, maybe we can walk through the World Bank a little bit. If you can get me your pass. Let me make a call. That could be a family member going out in a two-car Secret Service mini motorcade. No, they're just parking their vehicles. So maybe somebody just got back from work. Maybe the first lady just got back from teaching or something. There's one, one more coming out. So they're just putting it over in this temporary parking area. I wonder when West Executive opens if they'll uh, continue to use this. They have a habit in DC of once they claim something as their own, it just sort of stays that way. <laughs> Christmas wreath. So over there is the World Bank building and the main entrance is just that way. But because I'm a visitor, I'm gonna have to go over to this little side entrance and fill out a bunch of forms. This will just take a minute. We got the Christmas tree up. So we're in the World Bank, just up on the cafeteria, waiting for my buddy. It's got a beautiful atrium here. And across the way is the cafeteria where people are eating and I think I think it's still closed. I think it's already closed. I don't know. So they got the main big Christmas tree out. It's quite pretty. They got flags of all the different countries on it. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's a children's holiday party for all the World Bank family. And there's the atrium. It's like eight stories tall, and there's a waterfall that goes down into the water. So we already got some protesters for the African summit, even though <laughs> the attendees haven't even arrived. I don't think they arrived till Sunday, but it doesn't stop them. Okay, so we are up by Black Lives Matter Plaza, that is St. John's Episcopal Church. I don't think Biden has gone there yet, though pretty much every other president, that was actually where Trump went quite a bit. The uh, White House webcams are just up on the wall behind it. And let's just, let's just cut through the park. No, we just went through the park earlier. There's nothing going on there. Let's just cut down the street. The guy is whistling to a squirrel. This is the little building that still has yet to be reconstructed following George Floyd protests. The uh, protesters lit this place on fire. It was basically a public restroom slash small office for the park service, but uh, no idea when that ever, if, is gonna be rebuilt. 
Alrighty, so this is the street I was mentioning that was all banks. This building was a bank. Before it was a bank, it was actually the Wormley Hotel, where the Compromise of 1877 solved the election of 1876. I've mentioned that before, this hotel was actually very famous. So they tore it down, built this big bank. Those buildings, that's a securities building, that was a bank, that was a bank, that is a bank. And down at the end, there's an old bank that's now being renovated. All the bankers wanted to be by the treasury for some reason. Yeah, it's the old standby. We haven't been here in about a week or two. Time to pay a visit. guys well it was a quiet day in Washington you know some days I just have to run errands and take care of stuff well that was one of these days uh, tomorrow uh, Biden staying in town we'll probably catch him at church I'm gonna take you guys out uh, we're gonna go explore some neighborhoods tomorrow I'm also gonna try to get down to the Christmas tree at the White House and the Christmas tree at the Capitol at nighttime so you guys can see all that lit up so that's coming this weekend thanks a lot for watching today we will see you very soon Bye bye.